The shootings we saw this week in Gilroy, California, El Paso, Texas, and Dayton, Ohio are indeed domestic terrorism, but they're more than that. They're perhaps not state-sponsored, but state-nurtured and state-facilitated domestic terrorism. The Republican Party, led by President Trump, but also by the Republican Party in Congress, works very hard to make sure that these terrorists have access to military-grade weapons. Understand that. The ruling party in the United States of America works hard to make sure terrorists and killers have access to weapons that, can only, that should only be used on the battlefield. And then they use those weapons on civilians. But moreover, what we saw this week, and we have seen previously in Pittsburgh and Florida and elsewhere, is that these weapons are used against groups that have been targeted by the Republican Party and by President Trump. The bigoted rhetoric of the Republican Party married to the effort to get weapons into these terrorist hands leads to what we have now.